FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this Friday, the 17th of uh, March, and uh, happy St. Patty's Day to those celebrating. We're looking at the Dow down 170 at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Down 160 at 32,065 was down a little more. It's going to be really important for the for at least a decent candle to perform here because every time there's been an attempt at a rally in the Dow, it hasn't lasted very long. Selling has come in. I have a Chapman Wave a high trend gauge reading which said that from any sell-off, there should be a pretty decent rally. At some point, we've had one. Let's see if we get a second one now. Really important to see the Dow uh, after 130, at least not more than minus, say, 75, minus 60 points down, starting to come back. And that would be a really good sign for the market going into Monday. If there's a really weak close, that's going to be something else. Although it's, it's, it's very diverse because, look, the S&P is down 8 at 39.52, it's down 0.19 percent. The Dow is down 0.51, and now look at this. And and actually, the candle so far on the S and P is pretty good. Look at the QQQ. It broke that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It's now moving very sharply. 313.38 was the high at around about the first of February. It pulled back all the way to the 283 level, and now it's at 308. This is very nice action, and that's the diversification we are seeing in this, the buying and the selling that we've seen over the last week. We're looking at uh, the IWM and seeing the difference here. The IWM. So the IWM is down a uh, down a dollar sixty at one seventy four forty seven. Still struggling very very hard. Gold has had another move up. It's in leg D, and I had said yesterday for passes peak C. There's a chance that it could go all the way to the high that was made in the continuous contract around about ninety in the nineteen seventies. And yeah, we are at 19.57, good 34-point move up. Looking at the dollar, well, the dollar was trying to rally. It didn't rally very much yesterday. And today it's down again under the 200-period moving average at 104.19. Here's the other thing that we want to look at, the bonds. The bonds are, are rallying again up a dollar, $1.17.30 at 132. This is really important because the yields are coming down. And crude oil? Crude oil is down again. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening called Daily Newsletter. See you in a few moments and have a great weekend. <laughs>